everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca. Today we're doing some this or that and bye now. Welcome back or welcome for your first time. <laughs> it's gonna be fun, I promise you. So I just thought I would start with this Springs Vine O box, folks. They sent this to me. You're gonna wanna see it. <laughs> I feel like somebody on one of those mattress commercials. So um, we are talking Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduation, brides, um, right? Like we are, we are heading in it. This is the season. If the holidays in fall and winter aren't your thing, then maybe the spring, summer kind of like, you know, baby, no, you can't give a, a wine box to a new mom. <laughs> it would just be weird. Who knows? Father's Day, there could be all kinds of things. Um, everybody likes all kinds of things, right? So let's not, let's not put people in square pegs and, you know, let's kind of do it all. <laughs> if you don't know what Vino is, they are basically a wine subscription box, if you will, but also lifestyle, beauty, health. They have a wine profile that you fill out so you can decide, um, so you can let them know, you know, you hate red, you hate Chardonnay, <laughs> um, you only drink Pinot Grigio, I don't know. Their wine is from California, South Africa. Then what they do is they pick, oh, I would say five or six full-size items of, you know, like cute little snacks or maybe something to wear or a piece of jewelry or some makeup. And you get that all in your box. So I have a discount code. It's super good for first time subscribers to the Vine O. And let me know if you've ever done this before. And um, I, I mean, if you've watched these and not even clicked the link, who are you? Come on. <laughs> and if you don't like wine, don't worry. This will be quick. And then we're gonna talk makeups. Not quite dupes, kind of, yeah, you'll see. Okay, you guys, this is the Tynes label, like fork Tynes. And this is a California vintage. <laughs> What is wrong with me? I'm I'm the worst when it comes to wine. I have I have some knowledge, but kind of none. So this is a Riesling, and actually, you know, because I'm German, I know that Rieslings are from the German region, right? Okay, so a Riesling is less on the dry, more on the sweet side. Perfect for summer. Perfect for patios and you know, kind of midday, some lighter dishes, um, chilled, oh, so, so yummy. This one says it is filled with aromas of citrus and stone fruit, white flowers, and hints of apricot, peaches, and pears. And it's just beautiful, you know, it just, it's something that just sips easy, drinks well, um, yeah, so. And then we've got, this is New Crush, this label, and they've sent me this before as well, love it. This is their red wine blend, 2018. 2018! That was, a, that was a millennia ago. Flavor palette to be enjoyed and savored with every sip. So it is flavors of and aromas, blackberry jam, vanilla, toasted oak, combined with smooth tannins that lead into a well-balanced finish. Perfect pairing with roasted pork and grilled vegetables. Oh, cool. I love a Syrah. Okay, this is 2018 as well. Ooh, 2018. So this is Wicked Bliss. Love this label, super cute. And this bottle is, um, I love it. It is, may we all be bold enough to play hooky, eat cake for breakfast, and shatter glass ceilings. It does not give a description of what this Syrah is in terms of notes and all that. But every time I see Syrah, I just start singing Doris Day, K Syrah, Syrah, which I know it's spelled different, it's pronounced different, but let me have it, okay? Oh my gosh. 
So it's, these are, oh my God. I already know I love these. <laughs> this is called Host and Home Microfiber Makeup Removal Cloths. These retail for $20. Hang on. These retail for $20. You get, do you get two or three? You get three. <gasps> these are the softest. These are so, oh, you guys, I'm in love with just plush, soft microfiber cloths. I've been using them for years. I think there's some probably in my linen closet that might just be time to kind of, you know, demote, and then we can get some nice, fresh, soft ones. But the brand Host and Home is Coral Fleece Microfiber Makeup Removal Cloths from Host and Home. They have tiny, th thousands of tiny hooks to live in trapped oils. They will always, so that you get three, so you always have one to be washed and ready to go. They are 13 by 13, and the colors will vary. So I got black, but there's pink, and so who knows. Body lotion, this is called the potted plant. That is the brand. No, it is not a plant. One time they sent this to me, I thought there was going to be a potted plant in my box, because that's what I saw in the description. It's okay. It's okay. I, I, how I, how do I manage? You ask, <laughs> how does that girl manage? Ooh, Ooh, that smells delicious. This is called hemp, um, herbal blossom body lotion. It has hemp seed oil. Ah, uh, this is cruelty free. They are, um, a moisturizer with a natural lush, pillowy softness and it is vegan gluten-free paraben free phthalate free and sulfate free okay so they are a field to formula line and that is great this smells really nice this is retail valued at twenty dollars oh look how cute these are okay so these are some earrings from the label annie austin all right uh, you guys, are, are you seeing the tassel jewelry trend? I feel like there was quite a bit of this last spring and summer, and it definitely comes around this time of year because I think we love wearing um, these guys with like, uh, just like sundresses, kind of that boho chic vibe, maybe a kimono over some, you know, little cutoffs kind of thing. Super cute. These are hypoallergenic and nickel free. They are a accessory shop based in Kansas City. It's a brother and sister duo, Annie Austin and Matthew Calicott. Aww. So these are $30 retail. Those are really cute. <laughs> there is always a glass of something, of some kind. These are cute. I usually hang on to these. Um, and I pair, like I'll make like a little gift basket with one of the bottles of wine and one of these glasses, maybe a candle or like a lip gloss. And it says pop the bubbly. This is a cute stemless glass. I love its little pink fade. It is $14 retail. The Slant Collection are a lifestyle brand devoted to connecting friends and family through life's everyday celebrations. So they make barware and other cute accessories and they are in boutiques throughout the country. This is a 20 ounce stemless wine glass, hand wash. Yeah, don't put that in your dishwasher because then this is just going to kind of fade away. So we've got Rule Breaker Deep Chocolate Brownie Bites. These are $5 for this little bag. Do I want them? Five servings per bag. These are gluten, dairy, eggs, peanuts, and tree nuts free. They are made with chickpeas. I actually might not open. No, you want me to know. If, I'll tell you if they're good. Oh, cute. They look like little Tootsie Rolls. They're dense and chewy. Not chewy like a Tootsie Roll, but chewy like a brownie. Nice. And then last we have these Clip and Sip Umbrella Drink Markers. These retail for $12.
this is adorable. So you can have umbrellas in your drinks that clip color coded so you can keep track instead of the charms, you know? I really like that because then you can do that with a bigger glass like this because you can't do drink markers that are charms if you're using stemless glasses. So this is genius. <laughs> I should say that each bottle of wine is worth $24. I never buy a $24 bottle of wine in the store for myself. Maybe as a gift, like a hostess kind of, but um, 13, $13 right around there is my, Thank you so much, Vine Out. Thanks, that was fun. As always, I will leave links, all the discount codes and description in the description box so that you know what to do if you wanna check it out for a gift for someone or for yourself. Yeah, okay. Let's go to makeup. <laughs> this is not a dupe video. Some things are dupes, but I think that because sometimes the price points are similar, or it might be kind of high-end to high-end or drugstore to drugstore. I didn't want to label to mislead you that it is dupes. When I have so much makeup and I'm trying to use makeup I have by what's launched new to give you guys a review on it, etc. And so when I come across products that are very similar. You know, they're all kind of like from a family, let's say. I wanna let you know what to empower yourself with in terms of comparison and knowledge because not only does just price point and how it looks matter, for some of us, um, ingredients matter, like is it fragrance? Does it have a little bit of fragrance? Is it fragrance free? Does it have some essential oils that might break us out? Where is it made? Does it matter? Um, if we like the brand or not, maybe we've got some kind of personal beef <laughs> against the brand, I don't know. I just figure I'll give you a rundown of comparisons. So first let's talk foundation slash tinted moisture. So the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin is beautiful. And I did do a dupe video for this and I think I was pretty close, but I've since kind of been going, you know what? I think not necessarily a dupe because very similar price point is the Urban Decay Hydromaniac. So this is fabulous, wears beautifully, and it's just a nice, um, it's very moisturizing, it has incredible ingredients, and it's got great pigment. I really do like this a lot, but I know some of you, either you didn't like it or you just didn't even wanna bother. So then I thought, you know what? This, uh, this came out in the fall, kind of end of summer, and it is so good. It is so good. I have shade four in the Charlotte Tilbury and shade 30 in the Urban Decay. It, looks the same, it wears the same, it's moisturizing. There are no fragrances in this, um, so it's just good. The Jouer Lip Oil is so nice. <laughs> so, and I think it does have, oopsie. I don't smell anything with this lip oil. I don't know if that means I'm used to it or the smell faded, but I don't smell or detect anything on this. What I love about this lip oil is that not only does it just drench your lips with moisture, but it has a, it sticks around, you know what I mean? Some lip oils just kind of, they sink right in to your lips, they're gone. Um, and this one kind of, it kind of sticks around. You can, you can feel it for a while. Another excellent product, but I'm not too crazy on it, is the By Terry lip uh, product. You could call this their lip treatment. It's not necessarily an oil. It's kind of almost a, a gel slash oil slash, you know. But this, is kind of, this was the claim to fame for By Terry because what they did was they accidentally put too much rose oil in their product, hence the scent, 
but this is what got them on the map. This is what is their claim to fame. So I can't say by Terry, please make this fragrance free. <laughs> Um, because I think this was their first ever product made. The rose scent of this is from the rose oil and it's what makes it what it is. So it's a beautiful moisturizing lip product, but I don't care for the taste and smell. So you guys, this is kind of a dupe because one is high end and one is significantly less, uh, less money. So the Rare Beauty, this, this powder, it has a radiance. I have not been very keen on this for some reason. I don't know why it just kind of gives some of the products I wear a bit of texture, looks a little powdery on me, which is weird because I think it's pretty great. I think a lot of people love this. Um, this has a slight tint kind of just like to offset a bit. Um, so it's translucent, but it's like tiny, but then, Hard Candy, their translucent face powder. They have had this forever, sheer envy. It goes through a lot of different generations of packaging. They're kind of constantly changing the look of it. So this is a few, a few generations ago. And you see it at Walmart, you see it on their website, and you're kind of going, eh. But then you come across something that's like, it's talc free. It's so soft and beautiful and $6. It says translucent, it's translucent. This competes with any high-end powder by Terry, uh, Derma, Derma Blend. Um, what's another one that's kind of like, you know, makeup forever. Like this is such a good loose powder. I did it. I finally bit the bullet and picked up one of these Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wands. It was, <laughs> it was from the Sephora sale. I was like, fine, fine, I'll do it. The shade is Spotlight. Okay, there is absolutely nothing to complain about with this product. It is gorgeous, it is, except for maybe the price. It's ridiculous, it's just, why? Why do you have to be so expensive? Flower Beauty came out with one just like this. I have not tried it yet. I believe I can only find it online and I just haven't done that yet. However, you guys know who's gonna, who's gonna call it? What's she gonna pick up? Whoa, 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 <gasps> the Beauty Pie. You knew I was gonna do this. So the Beauty Pie Luminizer Wand, 10 bucks, I think. So good. I think the only difference is that maybe, maybe this one is a smidge pinker. Like it just has a tiny tint of pink more on the skin. Um, let's see here. Yeah, yeah. The, the Beauty Pie has a bit of a champagne peach and the Charlotte Tilbury is a little bit more pearly. Okay, so we've got Beauty Pie here. Charlotte Tilbury here. Charlotte, Beauty Pie. They are the same. Okay? Okay. Just saying. Let's talk blush. Okay, so here I have sort of a drugstore to drugstore. The Pacifica Fluffy Blush that they just came out with, these little pots of blush are so pretty. They really are so pretty. I'm not keen on it. Did this one? No, this one didn't have a scent. And this shade right here called Bloom is totally a NARS, like NARS Orgasm dupe. So if you want a cream blush, NARS Orgasm dupe, here you go. This is it. Do they make, um, does NARS make cream blush? I can't remember. So this is it, right? But for some reason, this texture is just not, just, Something, something, it could be the way, the different products I layer, you know, I mean, who knows, right? So for whatever reason, the combination of product, um, powder cream, whatever, that I've been using with this Pacifica doesn't quite, I don't quite like the finish on my skin. Now found, it's, um, found is at Walmart, found is other places too, I haven't found it. Uh, they have a website and they have Walmart in store and .com. 
But this blush is so good. It's so good. And nobody talks about it, or I don't know. Coral flush. It's so good. So I like it. I think it just works better for me. Eyeshadow crayons. I've got some high end to high end, right? We're talking apples to apples. Expensive apples to expensive apples. No. Lately, I have been loving eyeshadow crayons. I'm loving whether they're drugstore, whether they're by Terry, um, you name it, Laura Mercier. I mean, there's so many, so many good ones. This Bobbi Brown cream shadow stick, so good. This is the shade Golden Pink. Love it. Golden pink. It's so pretty. It's very pearl, very pretty. I just used it on my whole lid. Let's do that. Oh yeah, let's do that. Okay. Then you guys, slightly different, slightly different shade, I understand, but I cannot not sing the praises of the Jouer eye crayons. The reason I love these, they're not terribly expensive. I have a discount code. They go on so smooth and they don't feel kind of that wet, sticky feeling as they dry. Um, they don't crease, they don't fade. You can wear over, under, other powder, cream, shadow, primers, anything. They're really, really good. So this is the shade Rococo, which had been sold out I recommend if they have any like little sets, I don't know if they have any sets right now, but if they have any like limited edition launches for spring or Mother's Day coming up, just get them. They usually have some kind of French inspired. So this is the Rococo and it's just, uh, it's like this gold, I mean a very, very pale gold shade. And I really, really love this, so. Excellent. Let's talk Dior Backstage Powder No Powder. No Powder Powder. Doesn't Samantha March absolutely adore this stuff? Like that girl, she is obsessed. This is such a weird product because I remember trying it and not liking it. And I think a lot of people felt that way. And then I'm like, you know what? It's actually kind of nice. I love a powder that's not very powdery. I love it. It's beautiful. It has this, it's like a finishing powder. You can maybe use it softly under your eye area. Um, it's, it's really good, you know? I love it. It's shade 2N. <laughs> Listen to me. It's a radiant blur effect, all day matte finish. Like, what is not to love in that title? Ah, <sighs> God, it's like music to my ears, okay? But it's just, I don't know. Well, actually, it looks good right now. I think when you layer it, it looks really good. I think that sometimes my first application of it, I'm just kind of like, hmm? So, love it, right? But. I think I can do better. And I'm gonna say it, you guys, by Terry. <laughs> Is it because I have a discount code? Maybe. Is it because they're from London? Actually, they're from France, but their website, you, you're, when you get your package, it has a little London return address. So I don't know why that makes me happy. See this? This is their Hyaluronic Face Set. This is the Hydra Powder. This is the Fair to Medium. Basically, it's an all-in-one face palette. It's sheer finish. You can do highlight, like, you know, not, not highlight shiny, but like highlight um, contour highlight. Uh, you can set, you can finish. I just did a combination of like these two. They have different different textures to them, and they're so soft and so pretty. They're hyaluronic acid infused, and your skin just looks good. Every time I wear a Bi Terry Complexion product, but I don't wanna talk about it because I feel bad. I'm like, it's not drugstore, so I'm not gonna, you know, I'm just gonna wear it. And I'm on Instagram and you guys DM me, <laughs> he'll be like, what is that? What is that? It's always that. It's always by Terry or Jouer. And I'm like, it's the by Terry. So please know that um, I do know that it, it's, it's, not, it's not cheap, um, but it is sometimes such a nice, uh, just such a nice treat, you know? And the hyaluronic acid products for face 
have no scent. They are excellent for all skin types. I just wanted to put that out there because some of the color, some of the, the color products, bronzer, blush, they do have that rose scent. So I know some of you really don't like that. So I just wanted to let you know. Okay, and then last, I've got mascara to talk about and I am blown away because I have been loving this MAC Magic Extensions. I haven't had a MAC mascara in years and I just on a whim picked this up and it is so good. It is such a good mascara. Like you've got wimpy lashes, you want just like lots of, you know, length and make it dramatic. This is this is your gal. But then I picked up a new tube of Princess Lash from Essence. I picked up the green tube because it is false lash effect. Okay, so I thought kind of extensions, like how are we how, how are we here with apples to oranges? I actually like the Essence better. <laughs> better. It's <laughs> very similar, but for me I get I mean, do I get better results? I think so. I, I mean, or it's just I, the same, but you know, the Mac, the Mac one, oh, I forget, it's like 20 something, and this is $5.99, $4.99, oh, I finally got that fast. $5.99, $4.99, like, so, you know, it's, it's a fraction of the cost, and also Mac is like, is it cruelty-free, is it not cruel? I don't know, so then, this, you know, easy. But sometimes it's hard to find essence depending on where you live, what's in retailers. So maybe then you're only forced to get something online and you don't wanna do that and you do wanna to go to Mac. So this is why I give you these choices because everyone has preferences, everyone has buying, I don't want to say limitations, but has sort of a different sense of or a different opportunity of how they purchase something, where they live, um, what's available to them. And I just feel like having those choices is, is nice. Okay. So there you go. That's it. That's it. Oh, was that fun? We covered so much. I want to hear from you. Say hi. And, um, yeah, check out Vino links. Check out my, if you shop through any of my links, they are, um, I have, I've put them in there so that I get a little bit of money, just a little bit of pennies. When you shop anything through my description box, then that money goes back to me to go back in the kitty to pay, to pay for more more goodies, right? So, um, so yeah, so that's everything. Thank you so much. I hope you subscribe to my channel and check if you have been subscribed, just double check, make sure that YouTube hasn't done anything weird and have a great time. Great day. Look after yourself. I'll see you next time. Bye.